Kevin, what did you, uh, you know, McKinney's obviously been a great story all season, but, you know, today, today kind of proved that even more. What have you thought of his play as of late? I just like that he's getting more comfortable. He's shooting the three with confidence. That's what I like the most. Um, you know, the offensive rebounding and defending, um, playing hard every possession, that's natural to him. You know, it's, he's remi- he reminds me a lot of uh, another Chicago guy that um, I played with in OKC that had to make the team like that, and uh, DeAndre Liggins. And he was a huge part of our team that year, and um, he fought his way onto the roster. And <clears throat> as the season went on, he got more comfortable on offense. You know, he got he made his uh, mark on defense, and I feel like Zoe's the same way. And you know, three for four, knocking down a three, hit that big three in the corner. Um, I'm just, I'm just uh, happy that he got his confidence on the offensive side because defensively, those Chicago guys, they, they, that, they could do that in their sleep. So um, I'm happy for him. Kevin, um, what were you guys able to do to kind of up the defense late in the third and take that through the fourth? And uh, Draymond sets sets the tone a lot of the times doing that. Uh, I, I felt I felt like we were solid defensively the whole game. We didn't turn them over. They had one turnover, and uh, I'm think midway through the fourth maybe. And um, you know, when you got more possessions, you know it's going to be a tight game. You know what I'm saying? And I think our defense is built off of like flying around, switching, creating turnovers. And I thought Minnesota did a great job of keeping the basketball in their hands. And so we just had to wait that out. And and you know, keep playing. I felt I felt like they they really you know, it was came into the game trying to take care of the basketball, not give us fast breaks and get our crowd into it. And they executed on that. But throughout the whole game, I thought we were solid. They shot over top of hands, and uh, we rebounded well. Kevin, when you just look at this whole season with the way, you know, the, the officiating's been with the whole freedom of movement, how have you seen the team try to adjust defensively, and, and what? how do you kind of – handle all that just knowing that it's scrutinized well i see a lot of teams around the league where the off-ball actions um i mean we that's like the trenches you know what i mean where you can kind of not grab and and prevent a guy from moving but kind of like force a guy it's kind of like hand checking back in the day i think off the ball is kind of a place for you to be a little bit more physical and establish an identity on the defensive side of the ball and um you could tell guys are kind of iffy on when to be physical when to lay off and, you know, especially the way the ball's moving around the league now, bodies are moving, you know, you playing loose on the guy, he set a pin down on you, now you got the ball rolling, you know, you get two on the ball, you drop it down for a layup, you get a three on the corner, so, and, you know, all that stuff starts before the basketball, you know, so we usually taught to be physical, um, you know, use our forearms, use our, you know, play the game a little bit, so I think they're, the rest are doing a um, – are, are, are buckling down on, you know, the grabbing, the holding, the pushing, the little stuff that we used to do off the ball uh, um, before the play, and uh, they're calling it now. So just got to adjust. Kevin, can you talk a little bit about Clay's ability to kind of respark the offense in the fourth quarter? He had 10 of his 22 in the, in the final period. He was a little bogged down in the third. So can you talk about, like I said, how he's able to kind of reignite that a little bit? Well, Clay is a guy that we uh, – we we uh, rely on his uh, catch and shoot, coming off of screens, um, creating a mismatch in a post sometimes if he has a smaller guy on him. And I think he made shots tonight. He set great screens. I think in that fourth quarter, um, the energy on the defensive side of the ball was what kind of pushed us over the top. Um, we forced him to shoot over top of a hand, and, you know, they set great screens all night. Our guy set great screens for Clay, and he, he was able to knock it down. So that's his time in the fourth, especially, um, you know, with that group out there. We rely on Clay to get his reduced offense for us, and it's just another night for him. A lot of guys are reluctant to use that phrase, flip the switch, but it looked like in the third, late third, early fourth, fourth, that you guys, there was a certain winning time mentality that seems to take over for you guys sometimes, and tonight it kind of was evident in the way you guys really turned up the defense. What did you, I mean, you just talked about that, but in that fourth quarter, was there a different mindset defensively? Because it looked like it was. I mean, you just want, you just want to win a basketball game in the fourth, but I thought, like, like I said earlier, I think that the way they kept the ball in their hands, um, you know the turnovers we we rely on trying to trying to you know turn teams over and you know we just had to stay solid for as long as possible and I thought we we waited that time out like I said and in the fourth um 
you know, it just happened to be in the fourth that we opened it up. But I think we were solid. We were, you know, they were shooting over a contest. I thought Jimmy hit some tough shots over us um, the first three quarters. Uh, but we stayed with our contest. Like, I, our rebounds were, we all rebounding them by 22. So, um that tell that we were contesting shots and, you know, we were getting out, but we didn't turn them over. So it kind of, we didn't get out in transition. The crowd wasn't screaming. We weren't getting the open threes like we normally had, like we normally do. But like I said in the first game, it's going to be games like that. We're going to have to grind it out late into the fourth. And tonight was one of those nights. Great. Thank you.